with Eric here. And as you notice, he's got two earrings. Um, we're going to ask you a few questions. First of all, do you think that by you having earrings, it affects the way other people talk to you? Yeah. Uh, people think that you're into music, rock, or rebelling against everything. But uh, I'm not registered Republican, you know. Voted for Reagan. It's, it really hasn't changed much, but it's the way it goes, you know. Well, do you feel like your parents' friends like are affected by this, or your dad's like embarrassed to, uh, like, just, you know, like, you know, see, let let people uh, see you? Uh, at first it was. At first, you know, they would just kind of, you know, people came over. They'd go, Eric, go to your room, and uh, or go like this a lot. Yeah. But eventually, they kind of, you know, got used to it. It's kind of casual now. It's you know they're thinking about getting them too. We're gonna ask you a question. How do you feel? Do you feel that dressing has anything to do with people? The way that people uh, come across to you, the way they talk to you, the way they talk to me, the way the clothes that they wear. Uh, how about you? Well, yes, because I think that most people in this world are just stuck-up materialistic snobs, and all they care about is dress. Do you think that people? Mike, Mike, where's the mic? Do you think that people think of you differently because of the way that you dress? I'm glad you asked that question. What's your name? You wear. Wait, you wear. Wait, the clothes that I wear? Could you rephrase the question? A student in your class that uh, is not dressed the way normal people do, with you know the hair spiked up, do you think that you would grade them differently or look down at them differently or look at them a different way? I'm not sure what normal people are. Well, okay, if a normal person... Uh, well, take, take a person like a punker or something with their hair like blue or something, would you... Mm -hmm. How would, you, how would you look at them? I think they're pretty creative. It depends if they're disrupting my class or not. But if they're not, it's okay with me. All right. so when are you going to spike your hair and dye it blue? <laughs> oh, soon enough. Soon enough. And how about you? Get that thing out of my face. This is my car. Oh, all right. Go ahead. Uh, well, what do you think about this uh, predicament here? Absolutely. I feel that... I feel that... Everybody judges books by the cover. Everyone is totally judged by their first appearance. Is that good or bad? I think that it's I think that it's bad because because the nicest person in the world it might be a little bit eccentric and might be dressed differently than most people and maybe they'd alienate half the people because just because of the way they look and not who they are. Do you think that the way people dress has anything to do with the communication that's involved? Like if somebody's dressing not up to par, do you think that it's going to have anything to do with uh, their conversation? Yes. That was such a great clip. Yeah, it was. I brought my brother right here. He's here to talk about what he found on the video. Welcome back. It was, was oh, it a good trip? Yeah. That yeah, was great. Uh -huh. Good. Well, no, I think there was a lot of things I found on the trip to Santa Monica High School. Uh, well, main, one of the main things I found, you know, we asked, you know, quite a few people, and most of them said that dressing has a heck of a lot to do with communication. Uh, a few people thought, you know, since we, since they dress differently, that, uh, that it was really a lot harder to communicate. Um, so a lot of them don't mind people dressing like this. Wait, get close to this again. They didn't see this before. Oh, no, I don't think they did. They don't mind people dressing like this. I mean, and actually, you know what? This guy goes to Santa Barbara High. So I guess he's just right at home, right? Yeah, you're right. All right, that, that's, that's really good to hear. Yeah, you know? I, that is important, you know, I mean, I guess for to be that perfect male, like we, you know, the, you know, the, the Vegas brothers are trying to be. Oh, yeah, yeah. We we must dress in that, that perfect way, the earrings and spiked hair and all that stuff, you know, for if you want perfect communication. I mean, it's unfortunate, though. Yeah. Very unfortunate. But that's good to hear they're getting back. Yeah. Okay, next up, we're going to have some some things we did together. Downtown Santa Barbara, actually. We'll be right back. Thank you. Oh, okay. we're back. <laughs> okay. Our next part of the, the, the show, my brother and me both went to Santa Barbara, took to the streets, and uh, really attacked these people. We tried to get close to these people by, uh, we tried to touch them to see if it would be, become easier to communicate, 
we try different tones of voice, different approaches. Oh. Yeah. Well, you know, when we were down there, yeah, our whole, our whole main point was to see how we could, if we, uh, if, for instance, if we could yell at them, if they would bother to take the time to, to answer us back, um, we were, uh, approached them in a nice tone of voice, too, and that to just see what could come up with that. Uh, you know, this is all just what we're going to show, I guess, in our next sequence, right? Uh, yeah. Then? Okay, well, let's um, get that next sequence going, yeah. all right? Get, get it. it. Yeah, let's get yeah. that going, all right?